In my current role, the key responsibilities are all about the, how we attract, develop and retain high-performing people. So it includes everything from the principles and policies of the organisation, the culture of the organisation, how we assess and select people, through to how we're developing people, what opportunities are we creating for people, and how we're rewarding them and recognising achievement, um, and how we're enabling people to move the organisation forward and thereby help the organisation to achieve its strategic aims. A typical day for me um, is normally arriving around about between 8, 8.30 in the morning, um, making sure that I'm clear as to what my day is going to look like ahead, what meetings have I got, what things need to be delivered that day, what's coming up for the rest of the week. Um, then it will be a series of meetings. It could be with my HR business partners or um, the learning and development partners through to members of the SLT, spending time with them, understanding what's on their mind, what challenges are they trying to face at the moment, what issues are they trying to resolve, through to uh, attending project meetings and understanding how the people part of the projects plays an impact on what are we doing to support that. You're going to hear a lot when you work in HR. and It could be concerns, ideas, thoughts, fears, hopes. Uh, and it's the ability to listen to that very, very carefully, to what people are saying and, and what are they not saying. To also have a, a pragmatic view about things, to understand that there's always more than one opinion. Um, to be able to ask questions and dig deeper and look for insight and evidence. First of all, um, the, the sheer volume of information that's always coming in, being able to stay on top of everything that's going on in the organisation. Um, to understand what's working well and what's not working well. Um, and that there will always be a presumption that because you work in HR, you know what's going on, and often you don't. So you're relying on good contacts with people, um, you know, people that, that perhaps form part of a staff consultation group or steering groups who are willing to be honest and open with you. The chief motivation is seeing the organisation and its people succeed. That's why I went into HR. I love that sense of that you're giving people opportunities and that, that they are growing in some way or another. First of all, try and get as much business experience as you can. Don't just become totally siloed in the world of HR. Understand what issues line managers are facing every day, all the multitude of things that they're, they're trying to handle, of which people is, is part of an important part, but it's just part of it. Um, Really try to understand what the business is trying to achieve, uh, what issues they're facing, because that's where you can really add value.